Welcome back to Fossil Linux Journal, ladies and gentlemen. This is Michael. When you think of Fedora, Fedora Workstation usually comes to mind, which has been associated with the GNOME desktop environment for years. GNOME is the default desktop environment for Fedora, and the developers have put a lot of work into providing the best GNOME experience. But Fedora can do more than just GNOME. There is also an official Fedora KDE Plasma spin. The question is, can Fedora, traditionally a GNOME stronghold, fulfill the needs of die-hard KDE users? Let's take a closer look. The Fedora KDE Plasma Spin is an official variant of Fedora that uses KDE Plasma as its default environment. KDE Plasma is known for its extensive features, customization options and modern design. In contrast to GNOME, which focuses on simplicity and minimalism, KDE Plasma offers a wide range of options for customizing the desktop. Fedora's KDE Spin aims to bring this powerful desktop environment to Fedora baked by the same stable and up-to-date foundation that characterizes all Fedora releases. The installation of Fedora KDE is straightforward. You can download the KDE Spin from the official Fedora website and create a bootable USB drive to start the installation. Or you install in a virtual machine. The installation process is the same as Fedora Workstation and uses the user-friendly Anaconda installer. During the installation, you can customize the partitions, select your time zone and set up your user account, just like with other Fedora variants. And if you don't know how to do that, check out my Fedora installation video, especially if you like to use ButterFS file system, there is some trick to use the full potential of the ButterFS subvolume layout. Just click the link in the video description below. After installation, you'll be greeted with the familiar KDE Plasma desktop, which is sleek and visually appealing. The default design and layouts are consistent with the typical KDE experience and provide an excellent starting point for further customizations. Fedora is known for its commitment to providing the latest software and features and the KDE Spin is no exception. Fedora KDE includes the latest stable version of KDE Plasma as well as the latest version of KDE applications and libraries. This means that users can enjoy the latest features, enhancements and security updates without the long wait. In terms of performance, Fedora KDE runs smoothly. The Fedora base is optimized for performance and the efficiency of KDE Plasma complements this perfectly. On both modern and older hardware, Fedora KDE offers a responsive and stable user environment. The combination of Fedora's advanced software and KDE Plasma's performance optimizations ensure a smooth user experience. One of the main reasons why users choose KDE Plasma is its unrivaled customizability. Fedora KDE does not disappoint in this regard. From the outset, you can customize almost every aspect of the desktop environment from the appearance of windows and panels to the behavior of desktop effects and animations. The KDE System Settings tool is comprehensive and offers a variety of options to customize the desktop to your liking. In addition, the KDE Plasma widget system allows you to add various functions to your desktop such as weather updates, system monitors and application launchers. This flexibility is a great advantage for users who want to customize their workspace. Fedora uses the DNF package manager which is known for its speed and efficiency. The KDE Spin benefits from the same robust package management system that provides access to a huge software library. In addition to the standard Fedora repositories, you can enable third-party repositories such as RPM Fusion to get an even wider selection of software, including proprietary applications and codexes. KDE users will find all their favorite KDE applications in the Fedora repositories. These applications are well integrated into the desktop environment and provide a consistent and well-designed experience. Whether you need productivity tools, multimedia applications or development software, Fedora KDE has everything you need. 
One of Fedora's strengths is its strong community and excellent support infrastructure. Fedora users have access to extensive documentation, forums, mailing lists, and chat channels where they can find help and share knowledge. The KDE community within Fedora is active and welcoming, allowing KDE users to get the support they need. Fedora Workstation KDE Spin is an official version of Fedora that uses the powerful and customizable KDE Plasma desktop environment. This version is aimed at users who value extensive customization options and a modern user interface. The Fedora KDE Spin combines the stability and timelineness of Fedora Base with the flexibility of KDE Plasma, resulting in a smooth and efficient user experience. In addition to the traditional KDE Spin, Fedora also offers Fedora Keynote, an immutable version of Fedora that also uses KDE Plasma. Fedora Keynote is designed to increase system integrity and security by keeping the base system unchanged and making all changes in separate layers. This architecture provides an additional layer of security and makes it easier to manage and restore the system, making Fedora Keynote an interesting option for security conscious and tech savvy users. Keynote is the KDE counterpart to Fedora Silverblue, which comes with GNOME interface. If you are interested in the immutable distros, the link to my Fedora Silverblue video is in the description. Now the question arises, is Fedora KDE a worthwhile option for KDE enthusiasts? And the answer is, definitely. Fedora KDE offers a compelling option for KDE enthusiasts who want to experience the advanced features and robust performance of Fedora. The KDE Spin offers all customization options and performance of KDE Plasma while benefiting from Fedora's strengths such as timely updates, strong security practices and supportive community. For users who have used KDE on other distributions, the transition to Fedora KDE should be smooth. The installation process is simple and the user experience is polished and user-friendly. Performance and stability are comparable to other KDE-focused distributions, making Fedora KDE a reliable choice for everyday use. To summarize, although Fedora is traditionally associated with GNOME, it can also handle KDE with ease and does so very well. Whether you're a long-time KDE user or want to try a new desktop environment, Fedora KDE is definitely worth considering. My first contact with Fedora was with Fedora Core and before with Red Hat 8. This was long, long before Fedora and RHEL and I'm very glad to see this distro exists and then it continues the legacy. Even if some IBM decisions at Red Hat are not uncontroversial, I still like Fedora. There are two more exciting videos about Fedora in the end card. The first video presents static distros like Fedora or Pop as an alternative to rolling distros and the second video is my test of Fedora 40 workstation with the regular edition with GNOME desktop. Tune in! Did you like the video? Why not support the channel with a free channel subscription? Give the video a thumbs up and activate the bell to be the first to be notified of new videos. We are surely but slowly approaching the 10,000 subscriber mark and I would be delighted if you could help me with your subscription. Thank you! Thanks for the kind attention. Have a nice weekend. See you next time ladies and gentlemen. Peace!